Hi boys and girls, before we get back into Revengers of Vengeance, I want to point out this awesome advertisement. This actually ran in game magazines back in like 1994, and I can't decide what my favorite part of it is. It might be the promise that the game is based on a true story, or the inclusion of the game's cast members as though they were famous actors, or maybe the naked witch lady with the 80s hair doing unspeakable things to a wolfman in the background. Fight or die indeed, wolfman. I'm especially partial to the game's tagline. WARNING! SOME SCENES MAY BE TOO INTENSE FOR THOSE WHO DO NOT SEEK VENGEANCE! One wonders what scene they're talking about exactly. The one where you train up meditation and learning? The one where you buy coffee for 30 gold? Or the one where you stunlock a rhinoceros with projectiles for a half an hour? Okay, maybe it's not fair to judge a game by its marketing campaign. There were lots of eye-rollingly stupid magazine ads back in the 90s, but get a load of the game's Sega CD packaging. In addition to all the awesome bullcrap from the ad, we're now reassured that this game does indeed CONTAIN FREAKS FREAKS FREAKS! Was this actually a selling point with anyone? Were people in 1994 lining up, like, I am disappointed by the lack of freaks on my Sega CD. What do you have to rectify this situation, my dear Babbages? Not surprisingly, this special flavor of extreme marketing was purely a North American construct. The Japanese original was simply called Battle Fantasy, and it looks to have been designed to be a purposely generic fantasy anime brawler that some studio churned out in between Mahjong games. Everyone and their brother was trying to get aboard the Mortal Kombat train in the early 90s, so it's not surprising at all somebody figured they could sell a few thousand copies of their whipped together bull honky by slapping a lifeless anime elf on the cover. Anyway, that just about concludes the history segment of this terrible Let's Play. We now return you to your regularly scheduled vengeance. Welcome back to the worst Sega CD game ever made. I'm Brick Road. This is... And I can't believe this is actually the real title of a real game that came out, but Revengers of Vengeance. Okay, master plan is I am going to train my meditation every... Not manners. Who cares about manners? This is a fighting game, not an apologizing game, although I do deserve an apology for this crap, I guess. I'm going to burn up as much time as I can here at the gym. And hopefully, I will finish up Revengers of Vengeance in this set, having played the game for about two hours and change now. My HP is not going down at all for some reason, that's kind of strange. Usually training makes my HP go down some. <sighs> While my previous, I don't know, 61 minutes or so of video was rendering... Let me open up my Pepsi here. Mmm, tasty. But yeah, while my previous video was rendering, I actually went on YouTube seeing if there were other LPs of this game, just kind of seeing what else was out there. And from what I can tell, nobody else can make any sense of it either. As far as I can tell, Revengers of Vengeance is not a particularly well-thought well thought of game in the uh, history. So I've got no foot speed, no jumping power. I'm awesome. But you know what? All i got to do is throw fireballs, so... <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're going to burn up all the time. Stamina's going up. You know, my high stamina must be why my hit points are not going down with all this training. This is awesome. I'm going to have no stats at all except for intelligence and stamina when I go back into a fight. I guess my luck and my luck's going up, so. And I've got zero stress. I hope that's good. What do we got in the shops down here? Just before I run all my money into the ground. Ugh. <sighs> I don't need strength. And there's no point in buying that jump, because I'm just going to train stamina some more and my jump will go down anyway. Oh, but what I haven't done, I don't think, in a while is gone up and tried to level up. And it worries me that I look down there in the corner and it says level 007. Can you really gain up to 100 levels? That's terrible. Alright, so I've only got like 23 days left, and I've got plenty of goals. Let's just burn it up and get this done. Maybe this will be like a 7 minute video, and I can be put this game back on the shelf where it belongs. Not manners, meditation. Meditation, meditation. Yes. Awesome. Good. Good stuff. 
Yeah, I've got enough gold to just burn up the rest of my time right here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yes. <laughs> my intelligence is maxed out. My stamina is almost maxed out. Let's, uh... I don't even know what I want to do now. What does fencing raise? I don't think I tried fencing yet. Not invisibility. Fencing. Oh, offensive power. Nobody. And look at my hit points went way down that time. Ooh, that's kind of strange. I will fix that. Alright, I'm almost out of time. Which is excellent, because I don't want any more time. I'm so over this game. I'm tired. I'm cranky. I'm playing Revengers of Vengeance. I hate life. I hate YouTube. I hate Nintendo games. Ugh. You know, one of each. Why not? We'll just split our difference all the way down the list here. No, we'll do invisibility twice. I don't care. There he is! Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. What's up, man? Oh, no, because I'm going to fireball you to death. I am. I'm totally going to fire... No, I'm only level 7. He's going to kill me in one hit. What am I talking about? Oh, I don't even get to fight him. It's just game over. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That, that, that's it, huh? I don't even get to fight him. It's like... <laughs> I just had a time. <laughs> oh, okay, that's great. Okay, uh... <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but... I don't know, let's try some of these other modes out. I, I gotta play the dwarf guy here. I was expecting the guy to like wake up and challenge me to a fight, but no, that didn't happen. <laughs> wow, I kind of that was really anticlimactic, actually. <laughs> it's like even in this little tournament mode here, even in just the one-player computer mode, the computer's way stronger than me. Just like in the RPG mode. Wow. So yeah, that's uh That counts as a full clear, right? I mean I found a way to get to the end of the game like that. I don't know any other way to play the game. It's like the only other thing you could do, there's not like a plot line you can follow. It's not like you go through a series of quests or anything, it's just that's all you can do. As far as I can tell. That's a dopey little attack. Look at that. Art, 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 art. Yeah, as far as I... There, all you can do is run around and kill the guys. And there's, like, no reason to kill... You know, there's no reason to fight one of the creators over another. You might as well just pick one and fight them over and over. It's like... The shops, as far as I can tell, just have random gear every day. It doesn't get better or worse. It's just a random selection. Oh, he's got three different distances that he throws his rocks. Okay, that's actually pretty standard for fighting games, I guess. It's like the actual little the little quests you can buy that you can take, they don't give you anything but gold, and they're all pretty much just the same little shooter levels. So, I don't know. I really don't understand what it is this game is, what the appeal is supposed to be, or anything. It, is he really short enough to get underneath her fireballs? That's awesome. What is she doing? She's like... <sighs> I don't even know, man. It, it, well, what, what else? Oh, okay, so in tournament mode, they actually get little quips that they can send back and forth. I don't want to continue. 
Yeah, there's just no point to this game at all. It's like, even in the story mode, there's like no story. <laughs> and I'm not usually a story guy in games. I'm usually like Mr. Gameplay over here. But there was no gameplay either. And it didn't even give me a chance to fight the final boss. It's like, clearly you have to meet some specifications in order to fight that boss, but I couldn't tell you what it is. So, okay, well, the last thing that I want to try, I guess, is go in the game with Rhino Man here. And I'm actually going to name him Rhino Man because that seems fitting. And thanks for making me go all the way to the end button. Even though I used all the letters, you could have just thrown me down there automatically, but no, you didn't. We'll skip Rhino Man's movie, because I don't care. Although it's nice that they let you actually, you know, skip the movie, because some of these old games don't do that. I just want to see the last few levels of the shooter that I didn't get to see. Which means I've got to... complete the lava level, and... not you... So that'll be this last video, is the little shooter levels. Because, honestly, I... And I cannot believe I'm saying this. These were the most fun parts of the game. These were, these were the parts of the game that I thought were actually kind of interesting. And, I mean, by today's standards, these are barely little Flash games. I mean, these barely the kind of things you'd play on, like, Congregate or something. And e even then, even then, it's like some of the Newgrounds Congregate stuff blows this out of the water. This is, this is it. This is really the highest quality that Revengers of Vengeance achieves. And as far as these levels go, it's like the dragon level was the most interesting. It was the most difficult. It had the most uh, varied types of monsters in it. It's like even in the little bonus level, it's like the game... They, they put their best thing right up front. And I've got to dodge all these guys. Oh, I got caught behind a wall. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. This... Oh, now I gotta wait for the Catman to come back around. I just, I just want to see the last few levels, and then I can be done with it. I, j I don't understand this. I, I'm not gonna say I don't understand, because I do understand. Because back in the day, it's like the Sega CD came out, and the whole point of the Sega CD was it was the first video game console. I mean, there were PCs and things people played their games on, I guess, but it was the first like mainstream console that used optical media. So they could do things like have really robust music and video files and things. So the, the system was trying to sell itself on doing things that other systems could not do. And was giving only very minor attention to the kinds of gameplay that were going into it, I guess. I don't have a lot of experience with the Sega CD, but that's been my impression by what little I have played and what little I have seen and other people who have played it. Other people I know who have um, played it, I mean. I do have a lot of experience with like first generation PlayStation games and they are very much the same. It was just, oh, we have a CD-based system. Look at all the crazy stuff we can do. Except the games are no fun, but you won't notice that they're no fun because you're seeing like really impressive movies and things. You're not supposed to notice that games now all of a sudden have like really long load time now. How come I disappeared there for a second? Oh, it's because I got hit and was flashing. And was flashing out of phase. Alright, let's kill this guy without taking a hit. So... I kind of have to beat all these levels without dying, because otherwise you lose the money that you wager on them. I guess that's the whole point, is like it's a risk thing. Ah. Alright, now, I did the Ice Wraith quest. That was the... that was this guy here. I already did that, so the woman must have a quest that's... I've done both 1,000 gold ones, that's right. Because he gave me 1,800 and she gave me...
I already did this one. No, I don't need to destroy the dragon. Now that I don't want the cat man here. I'm not a coward, dude. I just want to see the other levels. Come on. I might as well do the ice quest here. Sure, I'd love to. So yeah, I don't know. Revengers of Vengeance. I mean, it's like even the title is completely nonsensical. It's just a title that somebody whipped together in two seconds without thinking very... Oh my goodness, they're firing at me! Did they fire at me last time I played this level? I don't think they did. I think they just swooped at me. Whoa, whoa, that's new. They did not do that last time. I guarantee they did not do that last time. What the hell is up with that? Yeah, no, 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 not, not, not happening. I'm... <sighs> Turthna, I'm sorry. This game is garbage. I have done everything that I can possibly do in it. I cannot think of a way to actually play this game to completion that is not absolutely mind-numbingly boring. I mean, it's kind of, I guess, innovative that you can walk behind buildings like this. A lot of 16-bit games didn't let you do that, but... I don't know. I have no idea why you picked this game. I have no idea why anybody would want to play it. And I'm not going to anymore. I'm going to return to the title screen. And I hope your guys' vengeance has been revenged. I'm Brickroad. Farewell.